Hi folks, Joseph Kursky here with you to talk about using OpenStreetMap or OSM data in ArcGIS for education. Let's focus on education. Now OpenStreetMap, as you may be aware, is a free editable map of the entire world that is being built by volunteers and released with an open content license. OpenStreetMap is one of the most widely known and high quality citizen science generated geospatial data sets in existence. There are many ways to use OpenStreetMap data in education. You can easily analyze street layouts, urban and rural land use patterns, and so on at multiple scales using the OpenStreetMap online interface. What does that look like? It looks like a world map. And indeed it is. It's being generated by volunteers. As you can see, it is scalable. As you zoom in on the OpenStreetMap interface, you see different levels of detail at different scales. Ah, wonderful. Look at that. Look at the richness there. Look at the, the detail that exists in this place in Germany. So you can do that. You can also easily add OSM data to ArcGIS Online. I'll show you how easy it is to do that. Now, why would you want to use it inside ArcGIS Online rather than just the default uh, interface? Well, more about that in a moment. Let's see how to do that. Start a map in ArcGIS.com and we're going to change the base map. Notice the base map choices that we have. OpenStreetMap at the moment here in the lower left. So if I pull up OpenStreetMap base, I've got it right here and zoom into roughly that same region of the world. So here it's inside now ArcGIS Online. Now again, why would we do that? Let's return to that point. Well, because now you've got it inside a GIS and ArcGIS Online has got analytical tools that you can use in conjunction with OpenStreetMap. You can do overlays, you can do geocoding, you can do buffering, you can do intersects, you can filter, you can change the symbology, and so on. So you can use OpenStreetMap in conjunction with all those analytical tools as a base map behind those tools. So here's another thing to think about. You can also add OSM data to any ArcGIS desktop or online project because OpenStreetMap is one of the standard base maps as I've just shown you that's available in ArcGIS Online. Once the data is in ArcGIS, then you can use the advanced symbology, classification, and analytical capabilities that are a part of the ArcGIS platform. So I showed you how to bring it into ArcGIS Online. If you brought it into ArcGIS Pro, for example, you'd have many, many, many more analytical tools to use as OpenStreetMap has streamed in to your ArcGIS Pro session, or your ArcMap session for that matter. Another way to work with OpenStreetMap data is through the ArcGIS editor for OpenStreetMap. That is an extension to ArcGIS. And what it allows you to do is you can actually access, edit, and analyze OpenStreetMap data. So what I was talking about a moment ago is OpenStreetMap data is a base layer. Does that make sense? Underneath your other layers that you're going to analyze, but this, actually lets you edit and analyze OpenStreetMap data. Hmm, very nice. You can actually contribute data through the editor to the OpenStreetMap map. Pretty exciting stuff through this ArcGIS editor for OpenStreetMap. I selected the OSM base map, for example, zoomed into the area in Tamale, Ghana, that students had collected through this program called Youth Mappers. And I brought it into ArcMap as shown below. From this point, you can apply symbology, create network data sets from OSM data, and even contribute data back to the OSM project, as I mentioned. Wow. So that was from the Youth Mapper program, which is a set of youth geospatial gurus, really, around the world that contribute data to OSM through a series of engaging and important projects. They're not just making this up. It's actually data that people in the local area need. Another way of using OSM data is to export OSM data directly to ArcGIS Online without going through ArcMap. Now, using these procedures on GitHub, you go to GitHub, you can download data from OSM. Okay, so you go through these procedures as I did. I used those procedures, I accessed the same area in Ghana that I was showing you earlier, exported OSM data via KML format into ArcGIS Online. You can interact with the data on my map right here. So if we go to this map that I've got linked to this presentation, you can actually see the OpenStreetMap for Tamale, Ghana inside ArcGIS Online. So you can actually interact with it in live mode. Okay, 
So that is amazing to me that you can actually do the, so many things with OpenStreetMap data. Let's go back to our original discussion. Your students can even contribute to the content, as I touched on a bit ago. One way is through this project I keep referring to called Youth Mappers, led by Dr. Patricia Solis of Texas Tech University. Now, I've known Dr. Solis for years, and she's always involved with a variety of high-quality, engaging, getting students out on the landscape type of projects that actually contribute to global understanding. So Youth Mappers is one of those projects, and I love their slogan. We don't just build maps, we build mappers. Okay, so we're, they're all about working with students, working with communities, et cetera, around the world. So take advantage of that. Take a look at OpenStreetMap through Youth Mappers. The mission of Youth Mappers goes way beyond collecting map data. They seek to cultivate a generation of young leaders to create resilient communities and to define their world by mapping it. Therefore, they are just as interested in nurturing youth who understand mapping, community, and geography as the data that they are collecting. So it's not just about the data. In 2016 alone, 1,404 youth mappers operating out of 57 university chapters in, get this, 19 countries made over 6 million map edits to OpenStreetMap in support of development and humanitarian projects and programs. The data that I've been showing you came from the work of a collaboration between the youth mappers chapter at the University of Cape Coast, Ghana, where James Ishun is faculty advisor in the Department of Geography and Dr. Patricia Solis' class at Texas Tech University. Dr. Solis's class is a service learning course designed to engage small teams of students to learn more about development and humanitarian issues through mapping and collaborating internationally with peers in the Youth Mappers chapters where USAID works. The mapping team on this project included Kawuku Antwi, Cole Edwards, Cheyenne Betancourt, Nick Wisniewski, and Kyler Allen. To find out more, see their story map. Ah, they made a story map. In ArcGIS Online, they made a story map of this particular effort. So you can read all about it that you can see right here. It is a, is a series kind of a story map where you get this series of things down on the left side. And you can read all about uh, what they did, and you can also interact with the map uh, uh, that they've collected these data points. Okay? So, uh, wonderful. Uh, this is one of my favorite parts of it, before and after OSM. So they've got a slider bar at the top of their story map where you can look at what it looked like before and what it looks like after. So look at the level of detail there that you've got. Fascinating. Let's zoom in a little bit and then we can go to the before. So this was all generated by these wonderful groups of uh, students and this is what they learned. I mean, it's just, just great stuff here. So here's the, here's the point, folks, is that you can start a new university chapter or affiliate your existing campus student group, organize mapping activities, add needed data to OpenStreetMap yourself. You can collaborate with other chapters and share results. You can do what Dr. Solis and her colleagues in Ghana did. Members of active chapters will be eligible to apply for leadership, recognition, and fellowship opportunities. Give these procedures a try. OpenStreetMap in ArcGIS Online and ArcGIS Pro and other tools. For more about citizen science and ESRI, see the curated and updated citizen science resource here. This is really quite a, quite a resource that my colleague maintains on a ESRI blog. So lots of citizen science projects, links, how you can get involved. This is the citizen science resources from ESRI maintained by my colleague Charmel Menzel. Also, for more about citizen science and ESRI from an educational standpoint, see my article in the ESRI Insider. This is where I really focus on, okay, why citizen science matters in education and how you geo-enable it with mapping tools such as ArcGIS. So that is my article right there. I encourage you to take a look at these resources, and I'm really appreciative of your time today. What we did was we talked about youth mappers and a variety of other things and focused on using OpenStreetMap data in ArcGIS for education. Thanks. <laughs>